This open source project aims to solve one of the biggest problems of large language models that is memory. Large language models come with a very short term memory which we also call as context window. But that is not enough all the time and that is exactly why people started using RAG. Retrieval augmented generation where you infuse your own domain knowledge or business knowledge or whatever knowledge that you want the large language model to learn and you give that as part of your context. But that is not a solution all the time and that is exactly why this startup aims to solve that by providing a memory layer for personalized AI. Even before the startup, OpenAI kind of set the path ahead for companies to come and solve this. The simplest way that they did is whenever you mention anything that is your personal preference, there is a memory book like a scratch book that OpenAI or ChatGPT in this particular case maintains and then it stores all these things. For example, I've gone ahead and then said, I'm trying to learn how to make steak so that I can cook it during the weekends. And immediately ChatGPT knew that it has to update the memory. It said, it's trying to learn how to cook steak for weekends. And now I can go ask something else and it would immediately update the memory. For example, I'm also trying to learn how to ride a bicycle. And ChatGPT, as you might notice, that it would start updating the memory. Now, this startup aims to do it across all the LLMs. In fact, their main pitch is that Mem0 or MemO provides a smart, self improving layer memory layer for large language models enabling personalized AI experience across applications. At this point, you might be starting to type the comment, hey, why don't you just use RAG? I mean, you have RAG, why don't you just use RAG? And for that, the company has an answer that says, okay, how is MEM0 different from RAG? So first of all, for those who do not know, RAG is nothing but you ingest a large amount of documents, large corpus of documents, store it in some indexes. And whenever you have a question that is relevant to the index, you go to the index, extract the answer, give it back to the LLM and then give the answer back. What MEM0 is doing is slightly different. MEM0 manages entity relationships across uh, different interactions, uh, which is not what RAG does. Probably if graph RAG, which I recently kind of criticized, I'm really sorry, that might solve that problem. But in the current form, RAG does not have any entity relationship. So the deeper understanding of context and the relationships do not exist in RAG which might change with MEM0. And it also enables recency, relevancy and decay. So the most recent information is the most uh, important information, the most, uh, let's say, oldest information may not be most relevant. So it might need to have a decay. And I know personally, a lot of people who enable RAG solutions also have enabled this within themselves because they wanted to solve this like when you have similarity engine you would actually do this thing so as part of rag retrieval but mem0 says that this is part of their own system context continuity mem0 retains information across sessions this is one thing that i actually found quite fascinating let's take an example here so if you go here one of the thing that mem0 actually gives you as an example is that uh, you can have basic usages so you can uh, just go and say that i'm working on improving my tennis skills such as some online courses the LLM, in this case, their default LLM is OpenAI. The LLM, as part of this, will try to take this information and then say that this is actually a hobby that this user allies is a learning. So what it is going to do is it's going to create a memory saying improving her tennis skills looking for online suggestions. Now you've got a scratch book and all you have done is it has taken this particular important information added to the scratch book. Now you can retrieve those memories. You can search those memories. You can update those memories. You can in fact get the history of memories, but everything that is happening here is according to user ID Alice. So this is extremely important in a couple of contexts. One, for example, if you have got a, let's say a customer support AI agent. Now the customer support AI agent has the history of what this user had had like the problem before 
and it knows how to answer. So for example, you are a customer support agent for Microsoft. If there is a new customer coming in who has already defined what is their system configuration, what is the version of the operating system that they're running, this could solve the problem rather than the user has to repeat it again and again. So this is extremely helpful. Again, a personalized AI tutor is another place where this could be helpful because LLMs are stateless. They don't maintain any state in the default format. Again, a lot of people I know have implemented their own way of dealing with states, user profiles and all these things. But this is like, if you are not familiar with those things, this is a very simple code uh, with a couple of classes and couple of functions. You can define your own profile of memory management for all the LLM related applications that you're using. So this would enable you to build your own character.ai or some other system where your LLM conversation is not just a simple conversation that will vanish after some time, but rather the conversation will also start storing things into the memory of the scratch book or the memory book that mem0 provides you, which can be accessed later on by user. Like for example, you can go and then say, for this particular user ID, can I get all the memories that are available and then it would give you or you can also go ahead and then search across mem memories so you can see all the memory related information the co-founder and uh, CEO I guess uh, Taranjit also says that one of the important places is that two users are asking about Paul Graham's taste for makers essay would receive the same response despite their different professional backgrounds so one of the most important things about LLMs in the current world and that is exactly why character.ai is doing extremely well because the LLM is not like Samantha who is chatting with everybody for everything. This LLM is going to be custom designed with your own user profile, custom designed with your own taste. Like for example, if I go to ChatGPT here and then ask ChatGPT something, ChatGPT would know that uh, ChatGPT has information about what I like. For example, I want to eat my favorite biryani. Any guesses? So this is, imagine this LLM is uh, connected to the internet and uh, you've got this agent set up which can order food on your favorite platform. And this LLM would ultimately uh, know that my favorite biryani is Magnus biryani and it can now actually invoke the API or function call to order the food on the favorite app. Like in India, you have got Zomato and Swiggy. This is possible because OpenAI manages memory, which not a lot of LLM application designers actually do. And that is the thing that Mem0 tries to solve. I'm quite fascinated by this thing. Again, there, you could just come, come and then say, hey, why don't you just simply use a SQL database? Uh, at the end of the day, they are also using their uh, database. In this case, they're using a vector store, a quadrant, quadrant is their default vector store that you can use it. But again, there are a lot of different ways to do it, but I've not seen uh, people using a standardized way. And I think where Mem0 succeeds or Mem0 plays a different role than your traditional databases is that it gives you an easier option to do the same thing. Like for example, like Langchain. Irrespective of the complaints that people raise about Langchain, Langchain lifts default user, the average user, the average developer to build large language model powered applications. And I believe Mem0 is going to do the same thing for memory management with large language models, which is something that a lot of people are looking for, but they do not have it or they do not know how to get it done. I'm really hoping to play with Mem0. And uh, if you have got any comments on this particular topic, let's say memory management with large language models or even long-term memory with large language models, user profiling with large language models. I think Mem0 is something that you can definitely give a try. This is a project uh, which is kind of open source at this point, but I think they will also have a cloud hosted version because they are part of YC. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about it? See you in another video. Happy prompting.